Hello everybody and welcome back to the Blue Snot channel. Today I am back with another Sports Hop Series episode. It's episode number 77 and today I am still currently here at Fallon Sports Park Soccer Complex as now I'm going to be watching the second game of the Copa NorCal doubleheader that I'm here to watch. This time it's going to be between Elk Grove Everton FC versus Bay Area Tigres FC. Now both of these teams are kind of heading into this game winless and both of these teams are actually heading into this game with zero points in the Copa NorCal campaign. So certainly something we'll have to give in tonight's game whether if both of these teams is going to earn Earn a draw and earn their first point in Copa NorCal or one of these team is going to finally get a win and get all three points in the standings of the Copa NorCal Group B. So yeah we shall see how this game is going to go. Let's go soccer! Yeah it looks like both teams are now on the pitch as just about to get ready for the start of this match here. And the referee gets this match underway. El Grove Everton will be going with the dark violet kit. It's going to be going from right to left, I believe. And Bay Area Tigres will be wearing the white and red kit. And I believe that's actually the old Quakes Away kit that they are wearing, which I'm not quite sure why exactly they're wearing the old Quakes Away kit, considering the fact that Tigres has nothing to do with the Quakes. Although here's an early opportunity for El Grove and the keeper easily able to claim to that one. Oh, and it's given away there and here comes Tigres. Play the ball here on the left. This is a good chance for the first goal and it is wide there as Tigres almost got the first goal there. That one is kind of given away and here comes Tigres. Chance for the first goal and it is going to be saved by the keeper and now here comes Tigres. Chance to potentially get the first goal here. He's round the keeper. Although he did kind of win wide there, he's still going. As the cross comes in, it is going to be cleared away. And looks like he was trying to hit that one on the volley but instead it's a swing and a miss. But now here comes Everton though. Gonna try to dribble across a couple of defenders, and it's in the back of the net there from El Grove Everton. And I'll tell you what, in some way, this has really kind of gone against the run of plays. Tigres was putting so much pressure on Everton for the last couple of minutes, but just a very nice run and a very nice play there from that Everton player that just run through that. Tigres defends and just like that Everton takes a 1-0 lead in this game. So trying to cross that one in. Is that a handball? Ball into the middle there. It's going to be blocked away. Still another chance for Tigres. And it's going to be saved. And it's cleared the way there for another corner for Tigres. Well, I tell you what, that El Grove goalkeeper and that El Grove back line has certainly are just living life on the edge right now as here comes another corner and it is gonna be wide there although that Everton defender does a good job trying to get there but he gave the ball away and now he's gonna go for an ambitious effort and that one hits the post well that was definitely a crueling kind of ball that was dipping there's still another chance and now we're going to get a penalty here as that Tigres player gets tripped down and now Tigres will have a chance to get a goal and get an equalizer that they've certainly been waiting to get for a long time now. Well, here's the penalty and it's in the back of the net there from Tigres as it is now 1-1 and certainly Tigres 125% deserve to get this goal back considering the fact that they which is absolutely destroying that Everton back line, but unfortunately they just couldn't quite find the back of the net, but now they have. And that's gonna be right back to Tigris there as there was a small shout for a handball. Here comes Tigris again, and it's just wide again. And that was almost 2-1 for Tigris there. And 
Oh, and it's given away, and here comes Everton. Big chance for them to potentially get the lead here. Oh, and it's just wide there. And that was inches for Everton to get the second goal, and Tigres dodge a huge bullet there. Looking to play a little ball here, and that's a decent ball. And he's able to keep that on in. And it is in the back of the net there for Everton as they have now taken a 2-1 lead here. And I'll tell you what, unlike the first goal where they got the goal against the run of play, I think certainly this time they, they deserve this second goal as the last 10 to 15 minutes, they certainly had a couple of decent chances to potentially get that second goal, and now they have. They're looking to try to cross that one in. He does, and the goalkeeper able to get to that one as... I'm not quite sure if that one was going to trickle into the back of the net, but he had to make sure. Bit of a nervy moment there from the Everton goalkeeper, but that is the end of the first half. Well, it has been an absolute entertaining and fast-paced first half, but at the end of the first half, it's Outgrove, Everton FC 2. Bay Area Tigres won. So it's halftime here at Fallon Sports Park Soccer Complex. And like I said, it has just been a very entertaining first half. I mean, this first half felt like it's playing on ice. And it felt like I'm actually watching a hockey match more than actually a soccer match, considering the pace and the speed that both of these teams are really pushing for. But at the end of the first half, Elk Grove Everton has a 2-1 lead. And really, they, when they got that first lead it was really completely against the run of play considering the fact that Tigres was just absolutely dominating and putting so much pressure on them for the first 35 minutes but eventually Tigres did get that equalizer they did win a penalty and then just the last 10 minutes for whatever reason Tigres with all that dominance and all those chances that they had kind of switched off a little bit and you know El Grove able to get another goal right before halftime to retake that lead and certainly El Grove does have the advantage heading into the second half but I'll be very surprised if this game will end up 2-1 considering the pace that it's going right now and just the numerous chances we had in the first half and the referee gets this second half underway well I'll tell you what this game has just been playing at hundred and fifty miles per hour and Certainly, let's just hope that with how fast the pace have gone here in this game, it doesn't get really dull at the end of the second half and players get tired out. Uh, it's going to go straight back to Tigres. And is that a handball? Yes, it is. It's going to be a free kick here right on the edge of the box. Now here's a free kick about 20 yards out. Chance for Tigris to get the equalizer, and instead it just goes straight to the keeper. Well, that's a big golden opportunity miss for Tigris to equalize, and now Everton has a big chance here, and he's round the keeper, and it's in the back of the net there from El Grove Everton. Whoa, I'll tell you what, that was just a simple route one ball, and somehow that El Grove player was able to bring it down and goes around the keeper and puts it into the back of the net and just like that it is now 3-1 looking for an ambitious effort and that's going to be a free kick here and again it's going to be right around that same area except maybe about seven yards away and here's the free kick and once again the keeper easily gained to that one. That was not a penalty there and did, definitely didn't look like it. Although here comes Tigres again and it's in the back of the net there for Tigres and it is now 3-2 and they are now once again back in the game here. Once again doing it here and here's an ambitious effort that is gonna go high and wide. There's just so many men back for Everton and now Tigres has a chance here, and it's in the back of the net there, and Tigres has equalized. It is now 3-3, and well, unlike in the first half when they 
put so much pressure on Everton where they just couldn't put it into the back of the net. Here in the second half when they did the same thing and put a lot of pressure on Everton, they're able to capitalize this time and we are now back to square one as it is now 3-3. As now this one is given away. Here comes Tigres. It's not the best ball but he still got it and it's just wide there as again Tigres almost had a chance to take the lead and Boy, long ball comes in and he's on side he's gonna pass it back here and it is over there as another big chance for Tigres to basically get the lead and instead it comes to a waste and it's gonna be a goal kick it's a bit of a heavy touch and referee that has to be a foul there and indeed it is it is going to be a free kick for El Grove it comes a free kick for El Grove this is going to be a four man wall here and here's the free kick oh and what a save there from that goalkeeper and I thought for sure that that was going to go into the back of the net, although Everton still have a chance here, and it is going to be high and wide, and it's a goal kick coming up for Tigres. Tigres is on the attack again, and this could be a chance for them to potentially get the fourth goal. It's safe. The net is empty. It's blocked away. Is that going to be a foul? Referee says no. We're going to continue to play here, and... It is going to be clear the way. Well, I'll tell you what, Tigres thought for sure they were going to get that fourth goal, and they're not done yet. It's going to be blocked away again. And it is going to be a foul right there. Oh, here comes Everton. Oh, and that's a good ball. Chance for Everton to potentially get the fourth. Can he try to get a shot off? Oh, but the linesman has raised his flag. And that just comes to an end of that attack. We're down to the last minute. Still anybody's game. Although it's been given away. And here comes Tigres again. That's a good little ball. Chance for the fourth goal. Oh, it's wide there. And once again, that was the moment for Tigres to get the fourth and get the lead. But instead... He couldn't keep his composure and it goes wide. And that is going to be a foul. It's a free kick for Everton and Everton's going to take it quickly. Oh, and it's going to be intercepted though. And now that is going to be the final whistle. Well, it is full time and what a game. Well, here at Fallon Sports park soccer complex but in the end it ends honors even between El Grove Everton and Bay Area Tigres as it ends in a free free draw so it's just finished here at Fallon soccer complex and in many ways I really wish that game didn't have to come to an end because what a game that was I mean it was so unpredictable who was gonna exactly win that game and certainly there was so many chances on both ends but in the end it did end in an honors even draw and I think you could also say that Tigres probably should have won this game considering the fact that they have at least 20 shots in this game and at least had 20 opportunity to put the ball into the back of the net and yet they're only two be able to put away free of those 20 plus kind of opportunity that they had in this game and only were able to salvage a point in this game but yeah either way guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you guys leave a like smash that subscribe button and yeah I hope to see you guys next time